Hey, what's up? In this video, I want to show you guys this AI tool called Focus with the triple O's. And trust me, this thing is like the most insane and the best AI image generator plus image editor. You know, there is this really popular AI called Midjourney. So it's like the best alternative to the Midjourney and it's completely 100% free plus it is based on stable diffusion now when i say stable diffusion you may think that wow uh, it's gonna be really complicated to use because if you have ever used a stable diffusion or automatic 11 11 or something like that then you know you have to tinker things here and there to get the image you know generation look good and all that that isn't the case with the focus it's different really simple and easy to use i mean uh, their description simply says focus on prompting and generating they have made this thing so simple and easy to use that you just put simple like really simple prompts and you'll get really good results and installing this thing is also easy uh, download the latest version of this and just run the bat file or you can just simply use it in google collab and system requirements are also really low even if you have like a graphics card with four gigabytes of vram it will still work now i have this thing already installed on my machine i'm just going to run this locally again if you don't have a powerful pc or you don't have a graphics card then use it on google collab this is the interface looks really simple i'm just gonna give it a simple prompt a beautiful lady in city that's all we don't have to tinker with anything it's so simple all right i'm gonna click on generate and here we have one of the uh, results and let's take a closer look at it this thing is so easy to use even if you have never used ai before you can use it still just put anything in here whatever you want and it will give you really good results okay that's one thing it's like really simple to use now there are two more things that you can toggle uh, one is image input and one is advanced click on advanced now this unlocks the even more features but it will still be easy to use don't be afraid all right so in under settings you can change the performance mode all right you can also change the aspect ratio there are so many presets that you can choose from you can also change the number of images that it will generate and you can also add the negative prompts actually you don't have to add any negative prompts because focus ai has everything pre-built into the system so you don't actually need to type anything in the negative prompt now if we go to the style section here there are so many presets that you can choose from and you can generate images based on that so let's say you want to generate image based on enemy let's say all right so you can select that and generate the images based on that style this is the anime style you can see the preview how the image will look there are so many types of styles and effects that you can use so let's actually try out the anime style all right i'm gonna give the same prompt and i'm gonna set the aspect ratio to a little bit lower so it will be faster now look at that this time we have the anime style image because we chose that preset this is so good i mean just look at this this is the anime girl because we chose the preset and there is another one this is like little realistic anime girl actually so that's one thing don't worry it's not limited to that if you don't like any of the presets don't worry but i'm pretty sure that you will like the uh, uh, presets in, that are available in here okay or you can also specify your style in prompt like cartoon style anime style or whatever okay but you have the option to select the style which is just insane now let's move on to the model option uh, by default it will have the uh, juggernaut excel model you can also download any you know stable diffusion models and use them like for example uh, there is this really popular website called civit ai uh, here you can download different models 
for stable diffusion and those models can also be used in focus ai let's say if you download this model and select that model in the focus ai and it will generate the images based on that really simple and easy and i have a couple of models downloaded here you can also have up to five lora models these models are way smaller in the file size and they have you know some specific type of look in them or style in them so you can also use lora's in here and if you go into the advanced option we have some extra options in here that we shouldn't play around even though this thing is really simple and easy to use but at the same time this is also really powerful okay i'm going to generate one more image in here so we can talk about uh, some other features that is upscale or variation image prompt and image in paint and out paint yes you can also do the image out paint in paint and all that okay i'm going to download this image so we can use this in uh, image prompt uh, so let's say i want to use this image in here and let's let's make her smile okay you can see she's not really smiling so i'm just gonna simply put in here word smile okay and you'll be surprised to see that this thing will actually make her smile so you can see already in the preview she is actually smiling in here you have to select the second option so you can see now she's smiling you can also go with the strong but it might affect the entire face or scene and you can also upscale your images okay it has the built-in image upscaler now let's go to the image prompt now in image prompt we can have four different images for image generation right in here we can generate images based on images or if we click on advanced option now we get four different options image prompt pyracani cpds and face swap if you have ever used a automatic 1111 and control that then you know what they do some of these options are actually easy to understand like face swap you basically swap the face with your image prompt or with the other image that you can also select in here so let's say for this example i'm gonna click on face swap i'm gonna select that option and let's write a prompt so this is the prompt now what's going to happen is it's going to keep the face of this image and uh, it's going to generate image based on whatever we typed in here because we have selected the face swap option so it's going to keep the face in here so let's click on generate and you'll see what i'm talking about even though this thing is really simple and easy to use but still you'll need to actually learn few things here and there like all these weights and stop at and everything you need to learn these things so you can see we have same face but in a different style so that's the face swap now let's go to the in paint and out paint this is the most exciting feature in here uh, if you want to edit your images right so let's say I want to edit this image let's do out paint okay to do a out paint you simply select these options right left right top bottom in whatever position you want to out paint you select that i'm gonna select everything and it will basically expand the image everywhere okay i don't have to type anything in here but if there is something that you want to specify sure go ahead and type now let's click on generate and you can see in the preview what it's doing so this is our original image and you can see it's not affecting the original image and we can already see what's happening in here right you can see it's wow it, it nailed it you can see we have two variations in here and absolutely amazing results so that's the out painting now there is even more options in in paint and out paint if you click on the method options in paint and out paint this is the default one uh, there is two more options one is improve details you can select that and from here uh, you can improve the details on your face hands eyes and third option we have modify content like add or remove object so let's say i want to change the background of this image it doesn't have to be perfect i think it will understand so i'm gonna try to paint in here beautiful landscape in background i'm gonna type that 
and hopefully it will replace the background. I don't know how well I did with the painting, but it should do it. Again, okay, we have one of the result and you can see it actually worked really well. <laughs> Wow, this thing is insane. Again, one more example, all right? I'm gonna change her hair color, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna simply type in here black uh, hairs and let's go with the in paint and out paint option. Here is the result and this is insane actually. Now we have a black hair. Uh, I think we can see the original image, yeah. It's, it's like, it matches, so it's good. We have another variation here, so you can see. I have this model called Blue Pencil, which is like anime style. And uh, I'm just gonna simply try to turn her into anime girl. I don't know how do I supposed to do this, but I'm just gonna do it in the in pin and out pin. And uh, let's actually try to do this. I don't think I did it properly. I think we can do this better in image prompt. Yep. Yep, yep, it's getting close. Yeah, it works in image prompt. All right, <laughs> simple, really simple. Turning yourself into a cartoon is like also really simple. You just need the model and boom. Okay, look at that. Yeah, they look identical, all right? See? <laughs> so really simple and i think that's it let me know your thoughts in the comments what do you think about this ai in my opinion this is probably the best uh, ai image generator plus editor because it's really simple and easy to use on top of that it's 100 percent free plus works really well i mean all the image generation all the image editing that you can do and uh, one more thing actually if you want to learn more about this, like there are some things here and there that you may need to learn, like how to use image prompt and all these features and everything in paint, out paint. If you're still confused and you think that I can't do it, uh, even though this thing is really simple and easy to understand plus use, then I recommend you guys to watch this guy's tutorial on Focus AI. I actually learned a lot of things from this. His channel name is Jump Into AI. And uh, yeah, he makes really good tutorials on Focus AI and explains each and everything really well. Actually, I'll put a link in the description for his one of the Focus AI tutorial. And then you can just watch the tutorial and go into his channel and find all the Focus AI tutorials. He explains everything really well. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.